Welcome to the program, Changing Your World Through the Word with R.A. McKenzie and the Kingdom Life Worship Center Ministries. Our address is Mandeville, P.O., Manchester, Jamaica, West Indies. You can contact our ministry at the following numbers, 1-876-798-3705 or 1-876-412-3433. Our website can be found at www.kingdomlifeworship.org or you can email us at klwcm at aol.com a Kingdom Life Worship Center Ministries production.
to just stop and share the word of God with your people. Amen? Amen. And um, in fact, I, I, he said to me, well, if you come, you just have to take over. Amen? Amen. It's not what I wanted to do, but uh, you know what? If you're called as a servant to serve, you must serve. Amen. Is that amen? amen? And for this reason, I know that if God would have, would have, you know, had me to be here this afternoon, that I'm sure that there's a word that he has given to me for someone. Is that amen? amen? And the truth is, while I was home, the Lord said to me, um, there are people in this church that you need to, to give this word to. Is that amen? amen? And it's a very simple topic. It's my time. Come on, turn to the person beside you and say, it's my time. My time. This afternoon is, it's my time. It's your time. Come on, let me hear somebody predict it. It's my time. In the name of Jesus, it's my time. Have you ever reached a place in your life when you start to question yourself? Will I ever see a mega breakthrough Will I ever reach the place of seeing myself where I have dreamed to be? Will I ever move from this point to that point? Will I ever get to the place where I see myself being transitioned? into what God has fully called me to be. Have you ever reached a place in your life where you question yourself, what is really wrong with me? Why am I always been seen as the bad person? Why is it I have prayed so often why is it that I have committed so much to God, yet seen less? Have you ever reached a place in your life when you say, I feel like I want to give up, but I don't know, but something keeps saying, press along, say it. Press along. Sometimes it just Yes. 
trouble to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step down before me. Now another step down before me, and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. Amen. And on the same day was the Sabbath. It's an amen. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't care how long it takes. Your blessing is coming. Now, what I love about Jesus is that the word of God says every season an angel of the Lord would have come down and disturbed the water. Now, there was many who were sick, impotent, hot, many with different various conditions. Is that even somebody? But I want you to realize that even though there was many or there were many who were sick, there comes a time when every man will receive his blessing. There comes a time when every man will be visited by the master. Now what
you can say all that you want to say. But when God gets ready, he takes a man from nothing to something. He takes a man from a low place to the palace. He takes you from rejection to acceptance. He takes you from glory to glory. He takes you from hell to heaven. Can I talk to you somebody? And when he is leading you, it's greater than where you're coming from. I don't blame God for anything that I'm going through. Because Anything that I'm going through is ordained by God. And what I love about my trial, it didn't come to tear me to pieces. The Bible says, angel troubled the water. And if the water is not troubled, you can't be healed. Faith can never be faith if you have not gone through trials. And a lot of people don't realize that sickness will come. There's a man I know until you are. But one thing I do know that every man has a time and a season for their breakthrough. Can I tell you something? Church neighbor is your neighbor. Even the problem that you're going through has an expiry date. Let me tell you. 
tell you something, even though God, I don't know who I'm talking to. Success, when you have success, success can be a bitter taste in the mouth of some while it becomes honey to others. Amen. I'm talking about your success. And that's why people must realize that when God is going to take you to a place, take you up, some people will strive to pull you down. No one saw you when you were down there. But the moment you are up there, everybody's talking about you. You've heard the worst thing about yourself. You hear where you get the money from. You hear the type of person you are. Nobody saw you when you were struggling. No one saw you when you lived in that old hut. No one helped you. No one saw when you had to leave from out of your house in the way hour of the night to walk outside to use that board and toilet. No one understood that you had no experience of sleeping on a good mattress. But now Yes, sir. 